What's up, YouTube? Sharman X Soft here coming at you guys with a brand new video. And today, we're going to be talking about the year 2016 and the direction that the channel is going to be going throughout that year. Now, if you guys don't already know, there's going to be a lot of games coming out in 2016, so we are going to actually start branching out and doing some other games as well as Star Wars Battlefront. But I do want to reemphasize to you guys that Star Wars Battlefront is, in fact, a main focal game for this channel. So if you are afraid that the content is going to completely stop for that game, you are dead wrong because that is going to be a main focal point game for this channel. What I mean is I will be bringing you guys more updates, news, DLCs, weapon reviews, breakdowns, anything that you can think of when it comes to Star Wars Battlefront, you will find it on my channel right here at Charmin X Soft Gaming. I do not intend to stop doing Star Wars Battlefront in any way, shape, or form. In fact, we're going to be trying to do even more and more of it. So hold on to your seatbelts for that because there's gonna be, there should be a lot coming to you guys for Star Wars Battlefront, especially with the new release of the new DLC on the horizon. I, I cannot wait for them to go ahead and announce something for Star Wars Battlefront for that. I am dying to bring you guys some information for that. Uh, another thing, if you guys didn't know, apparently uh, Visceral has an open world RPG, Star Wars RPG that they are working on that is supposed to be maybe a remake of the canceled Star Wars 1313 game and if that actually comes out say in 2016 or if there's new new more news about it trailers information that kind of stuff you will find coverage on that on my channel uh, on top of that I'm actually thinking about branching into maybe even Star Wars the Old Republic it's an older MMO game but apparently they have a newer DLC that's out that's called Knights of the Falling Empire and apparently it's really good and it's almost as good or if even better than the whole game in itself. So I'm thinking about kind of branching back into that a little bit and maybe bringing you guys some coverage on that. I don't know you guys are going to let me know what you guys think about all of this stuff. But as you can see we're going to be bringing you guys a lot of Star Wars coverage on this channel. On top of that like I was saying about branching we're going to be going in a lot of different directions here testing the waters. There's going to be a lot of different other players out there playing different things and I believe that all of you guys don't only just play Star Wars games, so we're going to be branching as well. And hopefully there's some games out there that I can actually find that you guys will completely enjoy. And uh, one of those games, believe it or not, is actually Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. If you guys have not played Plants vs. Zombies, you need to give it a try. In fact, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 actually has an open beta that will be starting tomorrow. That's right, January 14th through the 18th. There's going to be an open beta on Xbox One and PS4 for Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Open to everybody, no codes needed, all that good stuff. So I encourage you guys to go ahead and download it and try it out because I can't wait for that to come out because, believe it or not, that is a fun game. That is a shooter right there with just some comedy and humor, and I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. So I think we're going to be covering that here for this channel as well. Uh, again, I want to know what your guys' input is. Let me know what you guys think about that because I think it's going to be quite fun to go ahead and actually do on this channel another game that i have actually been playing a lot of and i'm uh, thinking about bringing to the channel as well is arc survival evolved if you guys don't know what this game is arc survival evolved is basically what it says a survival game okay survival evolved and uh you start out basically as a dude with pretty much nothing and you have to go ahead and basically punch trees and whatnot like you would in minecraft and uh start building you know some sort of civilization something to survive weapons tools and stuff like that but the big thing is that on your island and whatnot where you're at you know you got you have to deal with the elements the weather hunger starvation everything hydration and even dinosaurs that's right dinosaurs you can go ahead and actually kill dinosaurs and whatnot to eat you can also tame and ride them and basically make your own tribes and armies and whatnot and form them up i mean it's an mmo right there it's not actually in full release yet i don't think it comes out till june but uh it's really really cool and you can actually play it on steam early access on pc or you can actually download it on xbox one under the game preview section in the store and i think it's about 35 dollars and i'm telling you it's a lot of fun if you guys have not actually played it, I encourage you guys to go ahead and give it a try. Uh, if you guys are looking, you know, you guys had issues playing it and you need to know what to do, uh, I will intend to possibly start bringing some videos on how to survive the first couple of days and whatnot and showing you the direction you should be going in this game because it is a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Uh, another game I'm thinking about possibly doing down the road would be uh, Sea of Thieves. 
Sea of Thieves is an MMO, apparently, that's going to be coming out. Uh, sadly, it's going to be exclusive to Xbox One only. And that really sucks because I hate when they kind of do that. I like everybody to kind of get involved in all of these games. But Sea of Thieves is going to be a pirate MMO. And pirates, to me, are really cool. So I think we're going to kind of go ahead and see what you guys think about that game as it comes out. You know, maybe you guys get into that. Maybe you guys don't. But it's something that I tend to at least touch on and see where it goes. Maybe do a lot of coverage depending on how good the game is, but we'll see. Um, some of the other things, these bigger titles I know you guys are really hoping to hear from is uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. I definitely hope to actually bring you guys coverage on that game, along with maybe Tom Clancy's The Division. Now, Tom Clancy's The Division is a MMO's type game. Like Again, I love MMOs. I think they're really cool. Uh, the Division is something I think would be great but I'm still undecided if I'm going to go that direction. And these are the reasons I'm telling you guys all this stuff because I wanna know your opinions on this. So feel free to share them down below and let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys wanna see from this channel because uh, you know these are gonna be some of the decisions I'll be making here in 2016. As you can see, we got a lot of games on this list that we are possibly gonna be covering and I really wanna know your guys' thoughts. Another two games here before we end is uh, talking about uh, Horizon Zero, that's a PS4 exclusive, I believe, and then ReCore, which uh, I don't know if that's an Xbox One exclusive or if that's Xbox One and uh, PS4, but uh, ReCore looks like it's going to be something really cool along with Horizon Zero, and I'm hoping to possibly bring coverage on both of them here as well. As you can see, we're kind of going more into that sci-fi side of things for this channel when it comes to games, you know, uh, the shooters and the sci-fis, the MMOs, I, I think that's uh, the best direction to describe this channel. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy the content that I will be bringing you guys. Again, like I said, leave your comments down in that description box below. You know, I might not be commenting back to everybody right now. We hit 10,000 subscribers and I thank you guys for that. Uh, but the comments are coming in very strong and there's a lot of them and I always try to get back to you guys as much as I can. So I'm more so at this moment focusing on answering questions rather than just like every single comment. But I do read every comment. That is important. I want you guys to understand that I read every comment and I take in all the information that you guys provide me because this channel would be nothing without you guys. And I want to make you guys happy and I want to know what you guys actually think about the direction of the channel and what you guys are hoping to see from me anyway like i said please go ahead and leave your comments down below i want to know what you guys think and i hope you guys enjoy the video and if you have please feel free to go ahead and slap that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to join the charlotte today and you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and comment below and follow me on my twitter to stay up to date with all my youtube videos i'm charlotte xoft and as always thanks for watching and y'all come back now you hear